Hey YouTube, what's going on? We're back with Gundam, The Witch from Mercury, episode 11. I'm a day late, but it was Christmas yesterday. Give me some slack. All right, um, <laughs> um, if you want to be here for the live recording, link is in the description to the Discord. I figured I'd put that out there for you. But um, to everyone watching, thank you. I do appreciate you guys. Quick recap for episode 11. We, um, what do we do? I usually like remember the uh, the end of the episode and then I work backwards. So it's like I think the end of the episode was Guel on the transport going to the place where all the stuff's going to go down and it getting hijacked by the Gundams from Earth. That was the after credit scene. Before the after credit scene, I'm pretty sure it was Suleta having an encounter with Elon 4 with Elon 4 and Elon 4 pressing her like about to kiss her and she ran away. She had the two little um ornaments that she showed Nika and she went to Miorene because Miorene got back. Miorene was like, oh, we're bringing Elon into the Gundarm project and kind of like wasn't paying attention to paying attention to Suleta and Suleta being kind of hurt because Suleta Suleta is like, I thought we had a thing and yada yada yada. And Miorene is like, whatever, blah, 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 blah. She's not really paying attention. I had to close my eyes to remember that. She's not really like paying attention. She's just kind of like going through like this happens a lot. It's miscommunication where Miorene is like doing mundane work and Suleta pops up. So he's like, oh, she's just talking. She's not paying attention to her. So we had kind of had Suleta being hurt by that. Um, 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 Shadik cashed in his favor with I, her name is Nika, right? Earth House Girl with the black and blue. I want to say it's Nika or Rika. Rika or Nika? Damn it. I can't remember which one it is. I, it might be Nika. I, I think it's Nika. It's Nika. Okay. Like, he cashed in his favor. He was able to contact the people on Earth through her. Um, We had that as well. We had um President Delling and um Prospera, our Elnora, meeting up. So we know that there's some inner workings with the two of them. We know that there is going to be an ass <coughs> assassination attempt on Delling's life at, I can't remember exactly what it is, like a mining thing or somewhere to pick up the aerial because it's been, we had a two month time skip. There we go. I remember I, it took, it took me a minute to get there, but I got there. I got there. I feel like I hit all the notes that I should have hit two month time skip, rocky relationship possibly between Miodene and um, Suleta. Delling and Prospera are working together. Nika is being used by Shattuck. Guel has been outcast by his dad. He is now going to be where this like, climactic battle for this first core is happening. There's going to be an assassination attempt by Gundams from Earth on Delling at some place, wherever the aerial is being picked up. All of this stuff is about to come to a head. I want to say either at the end of this episode, we might start the, the thing that might turn it or next week will be the full just ah, not next week two weeks from now will be the full whatever i can't think of a word to call it the full the full brunt of everything that's gonna happen so here we go let me put these headphones on let's pause the music let's get started took me a second but your boy had to lock in and remember um pause just all the way over here all right, Gundam, The Witch from Mercury, episode 11. We are going to get started in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I think I, I didn't share the screen. My bad. There we go. Is she scrubbing the ceiling? Room 11. <laughs> choo choo. Yeah, last time she saw the area, she was like heartbroken because of what she did, like putting her through the pain, like getting damaged and everything.
That's cool. You put your hand on that, it takes you through. Nika, you snaking us. I think they saw you, girl. <laughs> I think they saw you. Now, do we have any confirmation on what's going on? Is this going to be core one ending at 12, episode 12 or episode 13? And then we're going to take winter season off and then we're going to come back in spring? Is that, is that, if, is that, is that, what the hell is going on with my grammar? Is that's what's going to happen? Spring return. So next two weeks from now is the final episode. And then we're going to go on break. Damn. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. One more episode after this, after this one. That sucks. So that means next week is going to pop off. There's no way that we, um, there's no way that we end this core without something happening. Something crazy is going to happen next week. They might even cliffhang us. Like something might be happening and then they might cliffhang us. Unless stuff starts to pop off like right now. Whoa. 32,000 frames. That's a lot. This series is so pretty. You're doing too much, Suleta. <laughs> Who's talking? Ooh. He gave her a little look, too. Six? Permit score of six? Four was damn near killing people. I love that man's voice, man. Love that man's voice. Other way. <laughs> They commandeered the ship. Pretty much. How did she garner that much? Whoa.
What for? The fact that she told Delling to call her Elnor is something, right? Ay, 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 Suleto. <laughs> no. <sighs> A lot of miscommunication. Will this series ever solve the mystery of how... Will this series ever solve the mystery of how Choo Choo um, puts her helmet on? Oh. Oh, Suleta. There's a diagram to show how she puts her helmet on. See, in situations like that, for situations like that, I've done this in the past, like with lunches or like there's a specific count of things and like how she went up and was like, oh, I got you a lunch. He's like, I got one already. I would have been, I would literally would have been like, so who didn't get a lunch? And I would I would have gone around like, yo, who didn't get a lunch until I found who didn't get a lunch because I've done that in the past. If anything, in situations like that, I I've given up my lunch to someone else. Like, yo, like you can eat. I'll be fine. Relax. Yeah, relax. <clears throat> Damn. He bugged him. Ah, you sneaky, sneaky bastard. He's getting out of Dodge. I can't stand this guy. That diagram pisses me off. <laughs> That's what she's doing. <laughs> She's watching playback of the aerial. She got PSP. She's formidable. If she gets the if she gets the, the Gundam back and we gotta run up against her, she tough. All right. Very soon, girl. Very soon. Really? <laughs> it was an ace, eh? Yeah, they're a bit hun they're a bit unhinged. Warm below.
Right. I'm glad someone is asking questions. Stop. That's annoying. Don't piss me off. Just because Suleta doesn't deserve anything from anybody. I'll defend her until the end of the world. I don't care if she's misunderstanding stuff. <laughs> I'll defend her. Who are we talking about? She gave her a look. Who are we talking about? It is? They did say he was chunky. Yeah. Please. I I I would much rather her fuck. She's a Gundam pilot. <laughs> I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm just always able to just like disconnect things
you're going to lose. <laughs> this scene was so long I forgot what my point was <laughs> I forgot what I forgot what my point was that I was gonna say damn it <laughs> oh man I remember my point was things that usually would annoy me. I say this all the time. They don't annoy me with Suleta. Like usually like miscommunication, two characters just not talking to each other for the sake of not talking to each other usually is like the most infuriating thing. But with Suleta, I, I just, it just, it doesn't even bother me. I think it's because they've done such a good job at fully getting the point across that this girl is she, like every she's not normal. She has none of the normal experiences that a teenager would have. She has none of that. So it's like all of these things are new to her. And it's like, I just take it like, yeah, it was brand new for her. She wouldn't know what to do in this situation. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. This is very complex. Like, they really plan this thing out. Louvadoof. That's what they pronounce it? Their names are called Louva, whatever the freak it's called. The El Firth, whatever the hell. That's what their names were. It was the same as ours. They said it's supposed to look like engine failure. Is the episode about the end? Excuse me. Let's go to the aerial. Let's go to the aerial. Let's go to the aerial. She knows. You snaked us. Probably had no choice, but you still snaked us. Wow. She looks different. The aerial looks different. I got to go back and freeze frame it. They look cool, man. Gosh. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't get out. You couldn't get out. <laughs> One use for that. Oh, snap. This girl's a freaking wild card, bro. She just does whatever the hell she wants to.
Yeah, the one thing I don't like is going to happen. It's probably going to be Suleta and Miorene inside the aerial fighting together. Just let Suleta fight by herself. Oh, they're separate. Sorry. I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it like that. I just want more bonding time with Suleta and the aerial. That's not a good look. There she is. Episode's about to end right now. Mm, that was a cool way to end the episode. Um, it's in character first, pretty clear, to some degree, on the spectrum. Wildly overwhelming situations for anyone. Yeah. I love her. I love that girl. I love her. I will say, right? I don't know how much I like Miorene. I don't know how much I like Miorene. I don't. Miorene is okay by me, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not a huge fan of Miorene. Like, Suleta's my favorite character. I like Guel a lot. Yeah, the captain is the dude that killed her dad. Okay. I like Choo Choo a lot. Um, I think I like Nika a lot too, even though she's snaking us. Even She might not have a chance. Choo Choo, it's between Choo Choo and Suleta. I love Suleta, but Choo Choo is just like the best. I have like maybe five characters before I can even like utter Miorene's name. I don't know. I don't want to see the title. I want to see the title. That's good art. That's cool art. That's some cool art. Okay. That's some cool art. Um. Yeah. I'm not like... I gotta. I don't know the correct word to use for Miorene. I don't know. I don't know. Like I don't know if it's character development that she needs to, to make me like her. Like even what happened today. Like everything that she said and all that stuff. It didn't do anything for me. Like it didn't move the meter for me for her. So I don't see, I don't know. It's usually a moment like that, that would like soften me up and be like, oh man. And then make me like reassess the character. I don't, I don't know. Like even that moment in today's episode, it really didn't, it didn't do anything. I don't know why. It just was like, okay, like I got it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't hate Miorene, but she's not like one of my favorite characters right now she's just a character she for me Miorene feels like another one of the house the, the earth house kids she just has more screen time than them. like the black kid and then the other kid that be talking with the black kid like and then the other chick that um like the one that the other chick that the other girl got mad at for some reason because she was talking to like her sixth option like she feels like one of them but she just has more screen time I don't know. I, I I don't know. I think it was the hitting, honestly. Without that, the whole scene would have landed differently. Because I they're trying to keep the I feel like they're trying to keep the optic that Miodin is a, a strong character and like physicality and for some individuals equates to strength. So yeah, she would she would be doing that because she's trying to keep up her her tough outer exterior that she presents to everyone, but. In all reality, she's like the soft person that she was like, saying all of these things and all of the reassurances she needs, like the 
take care of the tomatoes and they email me three times and all that stuff that's what it feels like that's who she is but the hitting thing right yes yes it does yes it does yes it does but um it feels like that that's why they're doing the punching thing uh, the punching thing didn't really do anything for me it made me laugh because the silhouette was like no but i don't know it just it just didn't hit i don't know it, it just didn't hit it didn't hit for me it didn't it didn't work um i the, i think the only thing that is missing for me for right now up to episode 11 this has been like a plus for me it's been great i can't say a plus it's been a it's been an a it would be a plus if they give me more suleta and ariel moments but i don't get any of that like there isn't any of that barely any of it like you i feel like i can count on one hand how many times we've gotten one-on-one -on -one time and and conversation time between the suleta and the ariel like it's it's usually like something's happening and we have to have that conversation i think they're saying i i think so too but like so far I'll, I'll just mention it now just because so far i do think we're gonna get that i think it's inevitable that we get it but right now it'd be a plus if we got that it'd be a plus right now it's an a i'll give it an a i'll give it an a but it would be a plus if it gave me that too like i'm trying to think of like what scenes could i sack sack off to give me at least like one or two of those moments right like i i enjoyed the moment between her and the ariel whenever they were fighting the 6v1 like i i, I love that i enjoyed the moment after that where she was with it with the ariel and ariel's like all destroyed and she's like heartbroken because she's like i keep doing it i keep messing it up i i think the scene that scene hits more if we had one more just one more moment with her and the ariel just talking together like just her just like things got a little rough right things got a little rough and she just went to go sit in the cockpit and to go talk like how we've seen her do talk to her mother before in the cockpit of the ariel it was just one moment just one more moment that that moment it hit more because you because whenever she's in that moment like like trying to clean the aerial and try to do whatever she can th it, this is like her safe place and she's destroyed her own safe place i think it would it would have hit just a little bit more just a tiny bit more if we would have had it that's what i want i don't want i i've never been a fan of um i've never been a fan of multiple people being the, in, being in the cockpit of um of a, a mobile suit or a gundam i've never been a fan of that so i don't want to see that like i don't want any more scenes of miodine in the cockpit with suleta doing something i hope we don't get that i it'll turn me off i don't i don't want to see that not a fan of it <clears throat> game just missed it too we just finished up I'm not sure if Suleta is even going to be is even going to pilot the aerial this next episode. I think Prospero was fixing to get in it. Maybe not though. Prospero may be prepping to steal Quiet Zero. I think so. She might be trying to do that. What did you What do you think about the episode? What do you think about the episode? I liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought it ended pretty cool, even though I'm pissed off it ended. <laughs> I really liked it. I they're clearly setting up for like a, a bonkers episode twelve before we go into a, a break. I'm mad we have to wait two weeks. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'm mad we gotta wait two weeks for it. I thought it was good, man. Mika is dead. She's one thousand percent out of here. She's out of here. I think that Shattuck has overextended himself. I didn't even bring that up yet. I didn't bring it up yet. Shattuck definitely over. He definitely did. Like, um, snaking Jatuk like that. He had snaking Jatuk like that and and actually having the attack launch before he can get out of there. Oh, boy. He's done so. He's done. He might. He, I don't think he'll go next week, but he might go in second core. And it might be early, too. It might not. It might not be one to wait till the end. It might be like with the with um with naze is that his name from ibl where it's just like it just happened it might be something like that he's gone though 
Elnora's gonna pull, pull a fast one. All of us. She Elnora when Elnora told told Delling, called her Pro, Lady Prosper, and she's like, "You can call me Elnora." Her whole name said her whole Elnora. Um, what's it? I don't remember. Um, Samaya. She said Samaya. And um, like I'm like, you told her like. Like she told him her name, <laughs> like she said it. I don't know how. Like, I don't know if Elnora was prominent in the whole um, Ox Earth, but to I feel like that's like the like you said it time. Like that's I I already got the knife in your back. Like I I'll it doesn't matter if I tell you who I am. I I've, I've already accomplished. Yeah, 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 yeah. Said the same thing. The Earth, the Earth gun, the Earth witches have Gundams named the, the L, the Elif, the L. How did they pronounce it in the series? The L, uh, the Lefer. Well, I can't think of how they pronounce it. Yeah, they they. I I I was like, yo, they have them. They have them. Lifereth, Lifereth. That's how they did say Lif Lifereth. Okay, lift it, lift it. I can't pronounce that. Lift it, lift it, lift it. This is like another language to me. <laughs> I struggled just as hard trying to pronounce the system from IBO, and I never got confirmation on how to say it. The lift, lift or rift. Lift it. They have them. They have the same name. And, oh, that's what I wanted to go back and look at. How different the aerial looked. That's what I wanted to go back and look at. And she was like, that's the aerial. And I'm like, it 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 seemed like she didn't have the aerial didn't have any of like the traditional blue on the on the breastplate. It was on the shoulders. Looked so much different. How deep how deep was that? It was after the alarms rang. So it was after that moment. Right here, right? Nope, a little more. Look at it. Whoa. Uh, maybe it always looked like that. Let me go look at the picture of the aerial. So either she pulled some major under the table deal or she's about to riz down. <laughs> yeah, she. She's about to pull something. Hold on. I want to pull up a picture of the aerial. Gundam A A E R I L. Stupid cord. Images. Nah, I don't see no yellow. Well, we don't, you can't see the top, but I see no yellow. And it's usually red right here. Don't see that either. Wow. Panels are still there. You think they could be on top of the black? Cuz I it was yellow on the bottom too. Like on the bottom piece down here, it was yellow on the top, it was yellow. Then up here, it's red. It was red here and then up here. We can't see up there to know what that looks like. But on the bottom it definitely looks different. Wow. I want to use the beam sabers more. They all they all these Gundams have these beam sabers back there. They don't ever use them. <laughs> I, want, I want to see her use them. I want to see where all the um the bits are gonna be at. Are they gonna like are the shoulder pads gonna turn into the bits? Like these right here up there. Yeah. So the oh so up here they're still probably be there, but the chest the middle is definitely different. Head looks pretty much the same same piece up here looks cool man ariel looks cool it would be nuts if if um if she doesn't you if she doesn't pilot the ariel and elnora does it'll be nuts if she doesn't pilot the the uh, ariel and she does I also think that goal is about to become a permanent fixture in this terrorist group. Oh, wow. 
Jeremiah got walled arc is real. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's possible. That is very possible. This is this is shaping up. <laughs> this is shaping up. I'm having a great time. Are those retrograde thrusters on Ariel's chest? I don't know enough about Gundam to know. <laughs> you talking about down here, right? You talking about these two? This right here and this right here? I have no idea what those are. Google retrograde thrusters. When are they going to make another mobile suit that transforms into a ship? Retrograde thruster. I spelled it right. Ah, oh yeah, crazy mobility. Yeah, you're not wrong. Crazy mobility. Next, it's not next week. Two weeks from now is gonna be nuts. Two weeks from now is gonna be nutty. Someone was saying that they think Sophia. Sophia's and the other girls Gundam combined. Really? Think so? I'm pretty sure if you look at their designs, there possibly could be some clue for them to do that. But what would make you think that? Outside, outside of information like data sheets or something like that right if there's data sheets on them showing stuff then yeah but as far as like the series showing you something right like i don't know enough about gundam to, to know like if you could tell if these two suits should be together or if they combine together whenever i think about combo mechs i think about early 2000s transformers like the transformers armada and all that stuff when optimus had a combo transformation with every single member of the autobots that's what i think about like that, that like it's the first thing that comes to mind I'm trying to get a shot of when they um is it here whenever they um blew apart the what's his face I was literally about the right Transformers Armada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jet. It was Jetstream. That was the one he did the most. There was there. He had like two or three of them. He had like two or three of them. It looked cool, right? But that's what I think about whenever I think about Combo Max. That's the hype of stuff. I get out of school being like Optimus. <laughs> it was so cool. I just want to. I, I I just want to see their suits. Oh damn it! That was the perfect frame. I messed it up. Press Alt. Yeah, you got. This one has this big thing on its back, and this one has a huge thing on its shoulder. Now that I'm looking at it, yeah, they do look a little weird, huh? Yeah, this one has something weird on its shoulder. This one has something weird on its back. I want to go to when they um start to shoot too, because we get, I think we get a good look at them as as well. How do you feel about Miodene? Today didn't move the meter for me, meter for me. The the green one, the one that Sophie pilots. I'm pretty sure it's the green one. It looks like a sh like the the part on her shoulder looks like it could be a shoulder. Yeah, they could a good a big rail gun. I'm trying 
trying to get to look at it. Yeah, look at that. It had it had a hole in it too. Curse out of the way. I'm trying to get it when it dips. Like look at that. They could combine to like some big rail gun, huh? They could. Look at the feet on this one. Is the feet the hold on. Is the feet the same for for Sophie's? Kinda, not really. Like the feet on this one look like that's made to plant something. Like you plant that. And Sophie's does too a little bit. And it's like you plant that, probably leans over, and there's like an attachment. I think so. I could see that. I could see that working. They both look pretty modular. I think that's a good call. Whoever whoever came, seen that and looked at that and was like, yo, they could combine. It's a good call. Look at the gun she's holding too. Yeah. Mm. Mm, that's a good call. Ah. That's a really good call. I wouldn't have never thought of that ever. It would have happened. I would have been like, oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, that looks like it. that looks like that thing should either like come up or like it does. It looks cool, man. I like the design. All the Gundams so far, even some of the mobile suits, but all the Gundams, I've I like the design of them. I will say. I think Elon's look the coolest though. The Fodok? The Fodok looked dope. The Fodok looked dope. I like that one. Too amazing that the trainer trainers are kind of cool. Yeah, all the mobile suit designs look really cool. I really like them. I still gotta do Stein's. <laughs> the fought off is so cool, man. I like how it looks. I like how it kind of fights too. I I like how the aerials fights. I like the the drone bits. Yeah, whoever gets in that thing is dead. <laughs> I like how the drone bits work. I like it. And it's so agile. It's so agile. I do enjoy it. show had four different mech art that, that's right that's right that's right i do remember that i do remember that each each family had a different designer a different designer so they're all gonna look different it's cool man <laughs> it's cool that's <clears throat> that's a great decision like whoever's decision that was to be like oh my goodness so we thought so yeah whoever's decision it was to decide to have someone different design each grouping of the mobile suits chef's kiss you're you're a genius thought suleto was a mess this episode she kills someone for this first time 
Yeah. That's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. Even though she's already killed people, she doesn't know it yet. There's a possibility of that baby girl. Yeah, there's a possibility. There's a possibility that she, she she's already killed someone. Or there's a possibility that she hasn't. But she doesn't know she killed someone in episode one. When she absolutely is like a parent that she took someone's life. Yeah, that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to watch, but it's going to be like a great moment. I think it's going to make for a great moment. I would love because I would love to see. I would love to see her reaction. And how it compares to whenever she first took someone's life. And whenever Elnora finds out that Suleta killed someone. And if it mimics the way she felt when Suleta first took a life. Will it be she's horrified that she had to? Would it be she's elated? Would it be water off her back like she doesn't care? Like what will be the... The comparison for the two of them then and the two of them now 17 to 20 20 years apart <laughs> give or take so um that's all i got i'm gonna call it here we can sit here and talk all night, but i'm gonna call it here this was a good episode man this was a good episode please if you made it this far let me know in the comments how you feel about me i don't hate her but i'm not saying i like her either she's just there for me i hope like time said in the discord i hope that she goes through more development and that development then makes me care for her a little bit more but as it stands right now eh. so um that's all i got thank you guys i appreciate you have a good rest of your week next weekend and hopefully god willing i see you guys not next week but the week after for the the finale of core one so episode 12 the final episode until spring so again thank you I appreciate you. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.